This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-550 regular cab, dual rear wheel, 6.0 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. Uh, it's dual rear wheel. Uh, like I said, it's got a uh, really nice long utility bed uh, work box on it. It's an XL, which is a vinyl floor, uh, vinyl seat. It has 170,000 miles on it. Really nice truck. When we got it in, it came from El Paso. When we got it in, uh, we do what we do with every vehicle. We do a two-hour inspection. During that inspection, we discovered that it needed uh, an EGR, which is the 6.0 uh, weakness. So we do many of them. We are experts on this subject. So it got a bulletproof EGR cooler, and a, you know, EGR cooler, and it got a Ford oil cooler. So it got the bulletproof EGR cooler, which is really heavy duty very good piece of equipment uh, Ford oil cooler it got uh, all the new gaskets etc along with Rotella oil and a new oil filter and coolant it also had a crack in the windshield so it got a new windshield so the problems and concerns that everyone has about a 6.0 have already been dealt with on this truck and I'm gonna walk you around I'm gonna show you what's going on here first of all it's a really nice looking truck uh, the utility bed obviously has, you know, scrapes in the paint from being used as a utility bed uh, work truck. But uh, tires are really high rubber. I would say fronts are probably 80%. I think rears are 80% too. Uh, my brother will take this thing out. There's a receiver hitch on the front bumper there. Uh, my uh, brother will take this out and take... Uh, probably 60 or so HD pictures. Uh, there'll be a little device which will allow you to click on it and zoom in on anything you see cosmetically. So please use that device. It's, honestly, you get closer than the human eye can see when you're standing right next to it. So there's a couple little dings in these doors and stuff, but they do open and close. Tires are great. I imagine the commercial company that had this uh, probably discovered it had an EGR out or going bad, and we're told probably it was five thousand dollars to fix, and that's why they sold it to us, which is just fine because now it doesn't have one. <laughs> now it has everything handled. Um, it's kind of a shame what these guys are doing as far as what they're charging for EGRs to do the repairs when it really should cost fractions of what they're asking and what they're getting actually. It's got a hitch back here, you got light plugs, two of them. All right, and you got another door here. It's basically matching to the other side. Not an extra shelf on this side, though. You should just buy them and add them if you want them. More shelves. All right. Tires are in great shape, obviously. I'm going to fire this thing up. We're going to look under the hood. Hundred seventy thousand six hundred and seventy four miles. I'm told that one of these one of these switches works the light up up on top, and the rest of the switches don't do anything. So I'll just turn them all on. I'm going to open the hood. Turn them all on, and one of those switches works it. There you go. We also put new batteries in. Those are our batteries, so it's got two brand new batteries also. 
There's your Ford stamp there. Let's uh, check blow by here. Everybody wants to see this. Very little. That's very good. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. And I do not see a Ford stamp here. So that would indicate that this fender at some time has been off the truck and replaced. Which is hard to believe because the paint is perfect. But we report the news. We don't make the news. So there you go. At some point, this fender has been off this truck and replaced. For whatever reason, I have no idea. But whoever did it, did a great job. Seat looks fantastic. We do have a manual. Oh, that, let's see, I can hear the noise of the, uh, let's see, that's not it. That's it. That's the roof. I can hear the, uh, the uh, motor turning the lights on the deal on the roof. So that's what that noise is. All right. Number 800 35. Radio works fine. Air is blowing ice cold. Let's see. There's tow on and off. On, off. Let's see. It's a work truck. There's no cruise. There's no tilt. We have uh, overdrive. We have light package. These switches mean nothing. This one is for the roof light. Alright. Let's see. Let me put it... First of all, let me get a seatbelt on before I start this. Alright. Let's see. Put it in neutral. I'm going to put it for low. Now we're in low. That's for low and drive. Put it in reverse. That's definitely for low. All right, neutral. Let's go to neutral. Then we're gonna go to four. High. Now we're in four high. The floor shifter is moving very easily. That was, sometimes you have to play with them. That one was simple. And reverse in four high, neutral, we're going to go to two-wheel drive, now we're in two-wheel drive, let's go. Alright, this is a really nice truck. Uh, the EGR has already been dealt with, bulletproof EGR and a new Ford oil cooler, uh, new oil and filter and coolant, new windshield, uh, really nice truck. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, which you're welcome to do, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax, by the way, this road, I'm in an F550, which means really stiff suspension. And we have gigantic potholes and repairs and everything. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep the camera steady on this stupid road. But I get up to this road up here, and it's a lot smoother. The good news is I can tell when there's any vibrations or rattles or anything, and they're really, uh, for a work truck, it's very quiet. There we go. Now we're on good road. Nice truck. Holy cow. It's a big boy right here, and it's got rolling pretty fast real quickly. Um, let's see. 
So if you come to Tucson, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Like I said, taxes are 2% CD sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay 5% tax. That's your 3 plus R2 and a $250 dock fee. If your tax rate is 6.1, like Arizona, you're going to pay 8.1. That's uh, the state 6.1 plus the city 2. It's a total of 8.1. So just add 2 to your state. Okay, that's the, that's the tax rate you're going to pay if you come here to pick it up. Um, you're also going to pay a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and chip, no taxes, no dock fees. You deal with whatever fees you have to pay once it gets there. Um, blah, 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 blah. Deposits. Deposits $500. Once we get your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com. Um, until then, it's for sale. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say, it's kind of obvious. I say this about every truck at this point in the video. I'm not singling this one out. Uh, please check out all the other videos of all of our vehicles. At the very end, I say the same thing about every one of them, regardless of make or model or year, unless they are under warranty. This one's not under warranty. Um, it's way out of warranty. If the Ford people who built it, the engineers and the designers, could have given it a 500,000-mile, 22-year warranty, they would have. They didn't because they didn't know what was going to happen to it after a certain number of miles or years. If they don't know what's going to happen, there's very little chance we know more than the people who actually gave birth to the car. Okay? So, please realize that there's risk involved and uh, bid accordingly. You know, you're saving a bunch of money buying through us. We've told you what we've done to it, which should help. Uh, you make a good decision. Uh, we tell you what we know about it. We provide a copy of the title, a bunch of HD pictures. This thing runs great. Uh, that you can uh, zoom in on. There are no surprises here, okay? But that doesn't mean it's not going to get to your house and a week or a month or four years from now, it's not going to need an injector or four injectors or an air compressor, air AC compressor. We don't know, okay? So if you need a sure thing, then you have to buy something brand new with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty, okay? When you do that, you pay for this truck, Jesus, with this box, you're going to pay a fortune, $40,000, $45,000. And at the end of the, uh, the uh, three years, you're still going to owe thirty grand on a truck, and you're going to be out of warranty. So that's the math you have to go in your head with, and you got to realize what kind of buyer you are, what kind of you know, situation you want to be in. If you want zero doubt for three years, you got to buy new. Um, we honestly cannot tell you that this truck's not going to need something next week. We know that right now, what it needed, we did. And that's the number one problem with this kind of truck that's been handled. But uh, just enter, enter this knowing that what you're buying and knowing what kind of uh, threshold you have for you know, any kind of repair that might be needed. The transmission shifted beautifully. Uh, it's a dual rear wheel F550, so it's got real stiff suspension, uh, which is what you're buying when you buy this truck. Um, air's blowing cold. Four-wheel drive worked perfectly and very easily. All the doors on the, on the uh, utility bed work fine. Tires don't need to be replaced for quite some time. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. It's a nice truck. Thank you for your time.